What's going on guys? Before I say anything about this video, I want to go ahead and thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the salvation that he's given me, for the life that he gives me every single day, and allowing me to be awake and sharing content with you guys as much as possible. So thank you God. He is the truth, the way, and the life, and there is no other way around it. Having said that guys, I keep getting a lot of questions about how I get that outline around pictures of myself that I cut out. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it would be something like turning this into this. It's very easy to do once you get the hang of it. It's literally only a few steps using a piece of software called GIMP. I'm gonna leave the download link in the description below. So go ahead and feel free to experiment with it if you so choose. It is actually very similar to Photoshop if anybody has used Photoshop out there, except that it's free and it has pretty much all the features that anybody could ever want anyway. This is not gonna be a video about comparing GIMP and Photoshop. I'm sure that they do have their differences and I'm sure that professional photographers, if anyone would know, I am not a professional photographer. I'm just trying to show you guys how to do one thing. So let's go ahead and get into it. So here we are in GIMP. This is already assuming that you have downloaded and installed software on your computer. Here we have a cool little picture of Zenyatta, a chibi Zenyatta, right? Chibi spelled T-H-I-B-I. -I. Uh, they're like little cartoon character versions of whatever character it is that you're looking for. Now, this is how you get the cool outline effect. First thing you want to do, go over here to this right panel, right click it and pick alpha to selection. Now you should see the dotted line effect go over the entire picture. That's exactly what you want. After you do that, you're going to go up here and you're going to say new layer. Everything in here is fine. You don't need to mess with any of it. It okay. Before we do anything else, guys, it is very important to remember that you need to move this layer under the existing layer. Otherwise, when you try to color it in, the entire picture will be colored and that's not the effect that we are desiring here. After we do that, we're gonna go ahead onto the picture, we're gonna right click, we're gonna go to select and we're gonna go to grow. Now this is gonna be completely up to you. However big or small you want the halo effect to be is what the number is that you're gonna input here. So for me, a nice little middle ground for me is six. It's not too exaggerated. If you wanna select it and grow it more, you guys will see what it'll look like. If I go from like six to like, let's say 12 and say, okay, you see it, the bubble gets much, much bigger, but that's not what I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and control Z, undo that. If you wanna go ahead and color it, you guys can pick any color you want. Pick the bucket fill tool. And before you do anything else, make sure that you pick the color that you want, the desired color. Now, we people usually use white, you can use navy blue, you can use red, it really doesn't matter. Say, okay, in this case, I'm gonna go with white and there it is. Now that doesn't quite mean that we're done guys. Okay, because what ends up happening, you still have this data line. So you wanna go to select and you wanna say none. Now that we have none, you guys see that we have the same picture that that we had with the white outline effect. After that, you're gonna go to file, export as, we'll say Zenyatta outlined. Save it to wherever you wanna save it. In this case, I will save it to my pictures folder, export, make sure that all of the settings are the way that you want them. This is all fine. I don't ever mess with any of this, so I'm not going to hit export. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. You guys can see Zenyatta outline ping, double click it, and there it is. Now, it does look kind of blurry, guys. That's only because this picture was low resolution. I only used it for the purposes of showing you guys how to do this. And that's literally it, guys. As I always tell you guys, be safe, be good, be blessed. I'll see you when I see you. Jesus is king. And always remember, tomorrow isn't promised to anybody. Peace. Have a good one, guys.